Ladies and gents, please put your hands together and just buzz in if you want to play. Right then, choose yourself a character. Now, choose your favorite outfit. Uh-oh, this bit's always a little messy. Choose your buzzer sound. Now, input your name. Scroll through the letters with your colored buttons. Select them with your buzzer. You know the one. Yeah, baby. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Someone's got to choose the first subject, and I say it's you! Um. Natural world, it is. Questions ready? Trivia glands ready? Just press the colored buttons to answer as we play... Point Builder! Just answer in your own time with the colored buttons. Only one of these can be seen in Africa, but which one? One thing I know for sure, someone is definitely wrong. <laughs> some of you look foolish, some of you don't. All the same to me. Which snappy name is given to baby crocodiles? No arguments about that one. <laughs> what substance do honeybees use to glue their hives together? Tell the telepath they were thoroughly wrong. What is a social group of lions called? <laughs> Good buzzing, all of you. Which animal might have a blaze, stocking, or star on its body? Faster than a greased leopard. Meow. Portugal uses oak tree bark to produce 50% of the world's what? got one wrong and that makes me feel very warm inside in the lead at the end of the point builder better than reforming that girl group that made you famous <laughs> in this game the loser chooses the category for the next round but since there's a bunch of you tying for last place I get to say who gadgets and gizmos alrighty it's that time again when I test your knowledge with the aid of unstable explosives. Let's play Short Fuse. Get rid of the bomb by answering correctly. Here it comes. In the computer game series, what is a Metal Gear? Get rid of it! Get rid of it! 
Which iconic motor scooter is named after a river in Milan? Lose that bomb! Prior to release, what was the code name for Windows Vista? Very wrong indeed! The brownie was an extremely popular and early make of what? Oh, oh no! Which car manufacturer gave us the oop? It's carnage! Won't someone think of the four points? Incoming! Which company got car lovers excited with its Testarossa sports car? No. Which scooter reminded Enrico Piaggio so much of a wasp that the name stuck? Negative. What does the D in HDTV stand for? Toss that bomb! <laughs> in the 1960s, which technological advance changed the way we can... Which motorcycle component is No! Which sport was 70s video game on? Bang! And your points are gone! <laughs> it's lit! Prepare for carnage! Which small rodent helps us up? No! Which type of animal was Sonic? Oh, 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 get rid of it! Which Japanese car manufacturer produces the Corolla? Get rid of it quick! How is Rentgen radiation better known? No, no, no! When a motorcyclist leans into a turn by turning... Never! Who developed the first global positioning? Nice! What does the measurement of engine power BHP stand for? Oh, yes! Which chronological contraption do Tog Hoyer look? Exactly what day! Which type of vehicle are choppers and cruise? Still in the lead, despite my best efforts to see you blown to smithereens. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Before you get some medical attention, I have one more task for you. Losers are choosers. That's you. Pick a category for the next round, if you please. TV hits, it is. Fastest finger! Self-explanatory, really. Answer fastest, score largest. Simplicity itself. You see, the faster the answer, the more points you'll rake in. Which female fighter of evil lives in Sunnydale? that if you'd got that wrong, buzzing as fast as that, I'd have been merciless. Who is this TV detective? <laughs> wow! Fast buzzing or what? In Beverly Hills 90210, Shannon Doherty was Brenda Walsh, but who played her brother, Brandon? Oh, yeah. A bit of a twitch, or oh, desperate. <laughs> Which? Which war were the doctors and nurses of MASH dealing with? Not let on, I'm desperate for points. 
That's pathetic. Where would you find this tanned temptress? Either the last two questions were especially tricky, or um, none of you are very bright. <laughs> Who flies this? <laughs> we're struggling a bit with the concept of fastest finger, are we? Relentlessly cheery and fast of finger to boot. Well played. Yeah, baby. <laughs> As our last place, Larry, you get to choose the topic of the next round. Um. Okie dokie, science and technology. It's time to get messy, answer fast, and get the chance to throw dessert at your opponents. Let's play Pi Five. Remember, people, only the fastest of answer gain control of the pie. Prepare yourselves. What helps to keep the contents of a thermos at a constant temperature? Your buzzer to stop the cr squash pied. Pies cost lives, people, and you only get two lives each. So watch it, you. America's National Aeronautics and Space Administration is also known by which acronym? Let me at them. Who am I? the revenge top please ha! if you took a short trip between earth and mercury which planet would you pass on the way <laughs> who's for the pie i don't miss you. Ah! pie based proof that no one likes a know-it-all adios how does a microwave oven heat up food This pie's got someone's name on it! Incoming! It's not the winning that matters, it's the... Well, actually, it's all about the winning, really. Uh, two still in. Here we go. Deck started in 1990, aiming to understand the genetic makeup of the human species. The answer you wanted, this. Which planet in our solar system has the most moons? Okay, who's gonna get it? I'm eight pie! Another faux pas, and it's exile to Elba for you and your score. Last life. What is Proxima Centauri? All I wanted was the answer, and this was it. What was John Pemberton trying to do when he accidentally invented cola? Okay, choose who to pie. Take that! Champ! Pocket a thousand points! 500 for second, 250 for third, and nothing for you who went out first. Dodging those pies like a pro, it's the colossal giant in the shiny spandex! Okay, loser! Choose a category. Uh... It's sporting personalities. It's time for you thieves to shine. Buzz in fastest on the right answer and you get to pilfer someone else's points. It's Point Stealer. 
When you see the picture that answers the question, hit your buzzer. Craig Stadler was an international success in which sport? Steal from your victim by selecting their corresponding color with your colored buttons. Theft is so seductive. If anyone knows that, I do. Which of these guys wears gloves when doing his job? It's Steelomania. Shoot, I know, I know. Once you start stealing, it's impossible to stop. Who livened up his retirement by running in the 2006 and 2007 New York marathons? Come on! It ah, Buzz is a great leveler. No? <laughs> Who was known as the Bambino? Well waited, that player. Rob someone! Don't be greedy! You had plenty! Is that mask hiding the face of a winner? Still in the lead at the end of the point stealer. Losers are choosers. Make your choice. Mm. Tunes is your selection. <laughs> Everyone, this is high stakes. Bet high if you know your onions, low if you don't. Or maybe take a risk. Let's play! So what's our first question about? Coloured buttons place bets, people. Bets are in and go! Who is rescued by this unlikely pair? Alright, you've got the same idea. Well played, all of you! Hi Rollers, your next question. Honest Buzz says, place your bets! Okay, no more bets. Question please. The Family Guy movie is the untold story of which character? Mistake? Wrong answer. So, minimum sympathy. Our next question will be on. Cautions for losers. Make your stake with your coloured buttons. Big bets from everyone. Confident are we? Which indisputable leader of the gang does Officer Char Dibble try to drive out of town? Brains to match. Okay. Life is short, and so am I. Your last topic on the high stakes? Okay, guys, let me feel the fiber of your fabric. Okay, all bets in. Question, please. Belgian artist Herge brought which adventurous hero to life? Cocky and paid the inevitable. No more bets, people. High stakes is done, and the grinning girl in the 60s dress is top up. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> the time has come to fasten your seatbelts. Who will be the last one to remain at the end of the final countdown? Time to convert those hard-earned points into time. The more points you've scored, the more time you get. But you have to answer fast here to avoid elimination. Which desert must you plan on crossing to get to Las Vegas? All right. Last place for you. Wrestle with that. Which religion considers only halal food strictly permissible? You own this game, and my money's on you. What interrupted the 1989 World Series? <laughs> okay, people, pace is picking up. Which magical author introduced us to the fantastical disc world? <laughs> I'm saying this because I like you. Be careful. Where would you board a plane at O'Hare Airport? Wave goodbye to that time you spent all game earning. Which brothers wrote and directed the Matrix trilogy? First place for you, Monsieur. Which unusual obelisks can be found in London, Paris, and New York? Right, step it up. Your buzzing time's being slashed. Which 80s accessory was popularized in Fame and Flashdance? A double elimination. How devastating for you both. Bye! From which condition does ex-CIA agent Jason Bourne suffer? I make that career exit number two. Gentlemen and ladies, your applause, please, for our Buzz Champion. <laughs> well done.